Howdy folks, in this video I'm taking the bike just for a quick spin. I'm actually testing uh, the Ghost XL Pro camera which is a uh, 4K camera, high definition camera that I've just um, received as a very kind gift. Um, I touched on this in my last video and I said I'd mention how I came across getting the camera. Um, so I'll talk about that. I'm just basically taking the camera on a trial run to see how it compares with the uh, standard Ghost XL, the non-4K one that I had pre I've been using up till now. I had hoped to take both out together, but I'd forgotten that I needed an SD card, so I've had to transfer the SD card out of the uh, standard camera and into the HD one then I'll probably go out again with the standard one and I'll show you both on the screen uh, after that I'll buy myself an, S an extra SD card so I can use both so the story of how I got this camera I work for a company that are based in America and I'd recently um, completed a series of training videos for them it was a lot of hard work but in all honesty, I just felt that that was a part of my job and wasn't expecting any recompense. Um, and then what they originally, they, they wanted to reward everybody who shared in making the videos because it wasn't just me. And what they originally wanted to do was give everybody watches, smart watches. In my case, it would have been an Android watch, which initially I was totally happy about because I haven't got one. But then I thought about it and I pinged my boss, I said, to my boss, is it too late to change my mind on the gadget? He said, no, it's not. Um, so I asked for the Ghost uh, XL Pro 4K camera, which actually came out as a little bit cheaper than the uh, the watch anyway. I still didn't feel I deserved either, to be honest. Um, so here we are. Uh, the, the kindness of the company uh, uh, um, re rewarded me for some work completed. Um, and I actually did a shout out to them on LinkedIn because I was so impressed by their kindness there. Um, so yeah, I'm um, gonna show you this. Um, what I'll do is I'll nip back home and change the SD card into the standard camera and do the same journey. I'm not going very far today because it's freezing cold and it's gonna get dark soon. Um, hopefully I've managed to keep, sort of put the camera on 4K. If I haven't, I'll have to do another another such session I guess um, but yeah um, maybe I'll just squeeze in a quick crypto update then um, what's been quite topical in the news obviously right now October 2023 is the Israeli invasion uh, or military operation in Gaza forthcoming invasion preceded by the uh, terror attacks from Hamas and I was just interested to see how that would affect the price of Bitcoin. If anything, Bitcoin has gone up. Um, when I last checked, it was around 28K. So I think it's kind of gone up by 1K-ish. Um, so that's kind of good news. I think uncertainty tends to, to cause more people to buy Bitcoin, you know. And as for my take on the whole situation in Gaza, not that my opinion matters at all, um, but I do have, uh, I have Turkish family and Jewish family, so <laughs> in terms of my, my blood and heritage, I'm caught right in the middle. And I do remember once when I was in Jerusalem, when I was 14, my Jewish auntie said to me, you can walk down there if you want, but I can't go down there myself because Jews aren't allowed down this road this street in East Jerusalem and I remember th feeling weird because being Turkish and Jewish and English and I did go a little bit down there and then I turned not too far I turned back um, but basically I, I'm not really going to give my take on the thing but I'll leave a link in the description to Russell Brand talking to Gabor Mate. Gabor Mate is a Hungarian Jew who gives his opinion and some very interesting comments on where Hamas, how Hamas came about and how potentially the Israeli government initially at least promoted Hamas. So I'll leave that in the link. Um, 
yeah so bitcoin's up a little bit that's all i'm going to say in terms of crypto update but um uh, in terms of this camera going back to this camera uh the lighting today not fantastic because it's starting to get a bit dark and uh, um, it's a little bit gray so maybe i can do the comparison again when the weather's good maybe i could even do a nighttime one um, some car drivers are devs um what was i going to say and in a second i will take the standard camera out again and what i'll do is i'll mount it on top of my helmet uh, just to compare different angle as well rather than doing just the same angle which i guess is a bit boring uh, so yeah um, hopefully if you're considering the ghost xl cameras um, this video would be helpful for you and um, basically my advice is don't bother with the standard camera go straight pay 100 quid more go straight to the uh, S, uh, HD 4K one um, I can say that even without having viewed this footage yet um, because you will get 4K no one's gonna watch your videos if you've got a crummy camera on YouTube as on <laughs> discovering um, that said I don't feel like the old cameras are waste because I'm gonna put it probably mount it on the rear of my bike get some different angles and also sort of a level of protection I guess having a camera on the rear of the bike as well in a sense uh, and what was I gonna say um, yeah so I don't I don't mind because I, I ended up getting the in my case I'm lucky I got the HD one or the 4k one free high definition one free from work as a reward for my for my a piece of work I did for them but and, and I don't regret getting the old camera because I'm still going to use it but like I say if you're contemplating don't get the old one get the newer one much it's going to be much much better just based on the reviews I've seen and the fact that it's got a um, more update um, USB port and all the rest of it um, okay this guy's let me go there's an example of a cool driver thank you and uh, there we are. Ciao for now. Until a few moments.